What's going on, Buffs Nation? There continues to be a lot of talk about Zico, Seydoux Traor, transferring out of the, the CU Buffs program after being here about five months or so. And this is a follow-up to a video that I did on him on Sunday. And again, I was blown away by the comments, and that got me thinking about a whole lot of things, not just centered around Zico, but more of college football as a whole as well. And I'm really looking forward to hearing your thoughts and engagement in the comments. This is a more open-ended video. This is uh, a more rhetorical video where I'm just kind of asking questions. I didn't play college football, as you can probably tell, and some of y'all have. And I would really appreciate your insight as I kind of get into this video. So I think by now we all know the reasons of why Seydu has has left the program. And a, a big reason for this is, of course, because of his lack of ability to block the intensity. And again, I didn't play football, but hearing from football players, it sounds like blocking at the tight end, it's really just a desire. It's an intensity. It's a mentality thing, even if you're not the most talented of it or at it. And it seems like Zico just wasn't there um, at, at a level to where the coaching staff felt comfortable putting him on the field. Um, you know, there's been other things on Twitter and the comments and stuff like that talking about, um, you know, possibly academics played an issue with uh, with some of this. I haven't been able to verify that, seeing any, for instance, any Buffs Beat reporters reporting on that. However, I do think that that points at a greater issue sometimes that we see in college football or college athletics where, where academics are involved, and I, I want to hit on that. But my main point that I'm wanting to start out with is we know why this happened, but I think the question that I'm trying to get at, and I'm wanting to hear from y'all as well that have played college football, is why did it get to this? I think that's what I'm trying to, to get at is why was this the result? Why did this have to be a result? Because we know Zico's coming in with a fantastic ability to stretch the field, to catch. He's a big body in the red zone. We love all that. We know his, his blocking needs a lot of work. Now, I'm going to also link to a video from Heritage Sports from Black News Network. They've been, I've been following them since Prime got hired here at CU. Really solid. He used to be an NFL agent, so he does have connections in you know, the sports world, including at CU. And he had uh, some really interesting insight about this whole um, decommitment or, or transfer, rather, back out of CU from Zico. So please go check that out as well. Um, I'm not going to break that down because I want you to, to check out his content because it's really good. It, it's hard for me to believe that Zico didn't come in here with the expectation of knowing that he needed to block and that he needed to uh, really devote himself to that because one you have Tim Brewster but two I mean I'm not a football analyst but I can take a look at 15 minutes of Kent State offense and realize hey these are the responsibilities and the roles of the tight end within this offense peewee football players could probably do that too you sit them in front of a computer say watch this for 15 minutes tell me the responsibilities of the tight end in this offense and they can probably do that for you um if there was some sort of misunderstanding or thinking that they were just going to develop a role for him because of his skill set, um, you know, that, that might have been a little short-sighted. However, on the flip side, I think that there is a fair criticism because you don't have many tight ends like this in college football. Okay, he's a little light, maybe 20, 30 pounds a little light for the position, but again, he can really stretch the field. It's a bummer that we're not going to be able to see how this offense would evolve with a tight end like that. But I'm also asking the question, was it going to evolve at all with a tight end like that? Or were we just going to kind of fit a, what's the saying, a square peg into a round hole and want Zico to be an all uh, a three down line or, or a three down tight end? from the get-go. The other thing I'm asking is 
the staff probably knew, of course, that he was weak in his blocking. And I'm sure after he came to campus, they're realizing, okay, like that that aggression, that mentality isn't there. What else did we do other than tell him he needs to be better to develop that that tenacity? Are there professional co- or like performance coaches that we would have access to uh, that certain college football programs have access to that he would be able to go and work on that? Um, this isn't pertaining just to Zico, but to what I see like in college football as a whole. Like sometimes when I watch these documentaries, like Last Chance U University, it breaks my heart. Like seeing some of these athletes have such a tough time in the classroom. And I think like sometimes having um, been diagnosed with ADHD as an adult, uh, sometimes I feel like I can see some of those um, same symptoms or or struggles like with people that are on these shows or that that are struggling with their grades. And um, of course you don't see this, there's probably HIPAA uh, laws around it and stuff too. But um, you know, psychiatrists, I think like some of these, I don't think any of these athletes are dumb. some just need the, the, right, the right level of assistance or um, in some cases, like myself, just a little bit of medication and change with my diet has changed my whole ability to perform and to focus. And sometimes I, I wonder too, like, okay, if you're struggling in the classroom, if you're struggling, like overwhelmed at the thought of making your bed, if you can't do your dishes, how are you going to expect to perform on the field to your highest level of ability when you got all these other stressors going on. And I think um, the greater question, again, that I'm trying to get at is, did we exhaust every avenue to where having him leave the program was just the best result? Um, Did we really exhaust every resource with... with, um, kind of squeezing the most potential out of a player like Zico or or other players like that. Um, And it's not just specific to this program. Again, I'm trying to ask this more on just a whole college football system level, but it just got me thinking. Your comments got me thinking. Prime, in the Coach Prime, in the way that he is kind of revolutionizing college football and how things are done, he's asking everyone to dream big. And so what I'm trying to get at too is like, maybe we can start thinking outside the box a little bit as well, because um, I I think from an outsider looking in, it seems like kind of the same strategies of getting player performance um, or trying to motivate uh, a a player uh, kind of been the same ones year after year, you know, for years. And maybe we Maybe we can start dreaming about approaching this a little bit more uh, holistically. But I want to know your thoughts, Buffs Nation, um, or college football fans. For you, kind of, what is the line that needs to be drawn? What are the lengths and the resources that you feel like need to be given to a player um, before you kind of reach this result of, you know, having them leave the team or, or being okay with them leave the te- leaving the team? Um, you know, these institutions, especially coming up, in the next few years, they're gonna. Some of them are gonna be making over seventy million dollars a year in these TV contracts. And I'm glad we have NIL. But these athletes, as Demar Hamlin showed last year, they put their lives on the line, their brain, their health on the line every time that they put on the pads. And we need to be doing the best possible thing to make sure that. Um, they're getting the best care that they can while they're on campus. And I, and I think that means um, surrounding them with the right uh, support in terms of not only coaching diet, we're talking about uh, performance coaching, we're talking about psychiatrists, if they need um, a- any of those uh, mental health services, therapists, you know, cryo sleep chambers, you know. Uh, but let me know your thoughts in the comments, Buffs Nation. I really appreciate you sticking with me on this. And I can't wait to uh, read all of your thoughts on this. So go Buffs.